Andalusia's capital cast a spell of enchantment over visitors from the minute they step foot on the quaint cobblestone lanes and stroll the palm line promenades. Seville is a city rich with cultural heritage attractions. This is visible in almost everything from the colorful painted tiles on the walls that adorn many buildings, to the lobed arches of the palaces, and of course the iconic Geraldo Tower, which was once a minaret. Old fashioned street lamps and horse drawn carriages create a magical ambience and the sights are stunning as the famous flamenco performances and flamboyant festivals. The charm of this Andalusian city is found in the quiet courtyards and winding alleyways of the medieval Barrio de Santa Cruz, as well as in the beautiful open spaces of the Parque de Maria Luisa and the Plaza de Espana, Seville's most graceful square. It also has a vibrant nightlife. The best time to visit Seville is to come in spring season, when the aroma of jasmine and orange blossom carries on the breeze and you can catch either the atmospheric solemnity of Semana Santo or the raucous merrymaking of the Furia d'Uproll. The months of July and August also have a nice weather and attracts a lot of tourists, which makes the place rather crowded. Discover the best places to visit with our video of the top attractions in Seville. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Seville Cathedral. This enormous structure is like a little world on its own, and you will lose hours staring in awe at the beautiful architectural flourishes, relics, and historical curios. It makes an unforgettable impression on visitors. With 80 different chapels, it's the largest cathedral in the world by volume and is a world heritage site. There are also hints of the mosque that once stood on this spot, especially in the court of the orange trees on the north side, where Muslims once performed ablutions. The big photo opportunity inside is definitely the tomb of Christopher Columbus, but there's something spectacular at almost every turn. Entering the cathedral, visitors are surprised by the immense proportions of the nave. The 5 old interior extends 117 meters in length and 76 meters across and soars to 40 meters in height. The best way to appreciate the Cathedral of Seville is on the Cathedral and Alcazar tour. Not only will you save time by avoiding the queues on this three-hour small group guided tour, you'll also learn about the history of Seville. The outside lovely restaurant specializes in tapas and other Andalusian cuisine. Tourists can opt for the restaurant's outdoor terrace seating to soak up the ambience of Seville. Number 2. Metropol Parasol For amazing views of the Seville cityscape, head to the Metropol Parasol walkway and viewpoint. Set as the Sevilla, Mushrooms of Seville, or Lost Set as the Mushrooms, Initially titled Metropole Parasol, is a wooden structure located at Lancarnation Square in the old quarter of Seville, Spain. It was designed by the German architect Jurgen Mayer and completed in April 2011. It has dimensions of 150 by 70 meters and an approximate height of 26 meters which provides a wonderful perspective of the city's rooftops and landmarks. It claims to be the largest wooden structure in the world. At a lower level than the walkway, there's a tapas restaurant. The basement of the structure contains the antiquarium and archaeological site. Visitors have a chance to see ruins from the ancient Roman, Visigoth, and Moorish eras. Number 3. Seville Bullring Royal Bullring of Seville, built in 1761, is one of the finest bullrings in Spain, and with seating for around 12,500 spectators, it is also one of the largest. It is designed in an oval-shaped ring that makes it unique among Spanish bullrings, and its graceful arcaded seating provides welcome shade on sunny days. A special box within the bullring, the Palco del Principe, is reserved for members of the Spanish royal family. This bullring has a museum with a collection of traditional costumes, as well as photographs and paintings related to the dramatic art of bullfighting. A visit to the museum provides a glimpse into the old heritage of bullfighting. Visitors continue their tour by walking from the museum to the Courtyard of the Horses, which leads to the Bullfighter's Chapel. Number 4. Torre del Oro Torre del Oro iconic tower built in 1220 was originally part of the city's defensive walls. The 36-meter tall monument stands on the left bank of the Guadalquivir River and was designed as a watchtower to protect against invasions. Golden-hued tiles once covered the tower, which explains its name Tower of Gold. The tower is divided into three levels. The first level, Dodecagonal, was built in 1220 by order of the Almohad governor of Seville, Abuel Ula. As for the second level, of only 8 meters, also Dodecagonal, was built by Peter of Castile in the 14th century, a hypothesis that has been confirmed by archaeological studies. The third, and uppermost being circular, in shape, was added after the previous third level. Almohad 
was damaged by the 1755 Lisbon earthquake. Rebuilding of the third level was made by Brazilian military engineer Sebastian van der Borcht in 1760. Today, the tower houses the Naval Museum, which contains a collection of old ship models, historic navigation charts, and other exhibits related to Spain's maritime heritage. The museum also features a terrace that affords panoramic vistas. Number 5. Plaza de España Plaza de España is one of the most popular landmarks of the city of Seville because of its grandeur. Spreading over 50,000 square meter, the Plaza de España is surrounded by balconies constructed in the Renaissance neo moorish style. The building, semicircular in shape, curved around and follows the shape of a canal which runs through the square. There is a beautiful fountain which highlights the area while the canal is flowing peacefully nearby. There are four footbridges over the canal. The option of renting rowboats for the tourists is available, and they can explore the Venice of Seville through that. The landscaping features bright flower beds, shady avenues decorated with colorful ceramic tiles, and ornamental pools. Park benches and pathways add to the inviting ambience. Another highlight of this area is the horse-drawn carriage rides for the tourists through the park. Number 6. La Giralda Originally meant to be the chief mosque in the town, La Giralda is a magnificent minaret tower of the cathedral and is famous for being the symbol of Seville. A panoramic view of the city at its best can be viewed from top of the tower. La Giralda, icon of the city, is a magnificent building which had been the tallest one in the city for over 800 years. It dominates the entire skyline with a robust height of 103 meter. In 1195, it was originally built as a part of the Old Jama Mosque, but now it is the bell tower of the cathedral. It is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It was named after the weather vane located at the top of the tower, which also has a statue representing faith, called El Geraldillo. Visitors are allowed to climb up to the bell chamber in order to get brilliant views of the city. The Alcazar and Barrio Santa Cruz are best seen from this place. La Gural also offers a bird's eye view of the Cathedral of Seville. One needs to walk up a series of steps with 35 ramps, which are pretty wide enough. Number 7. Santa Cruz Santa Cruz is the primary tourist neighborhood of Seville, full of old-world atmosphere. This captivating medieval neighborhood is characterized by its labyrinth of cobblestone pedestrian lanes too narrow for cars, whitewashed houses with attractive patios, and picturesque plazas with outdoor cafes. The Barrio de Santa Cruz is one of the most charming places to explore in Seville. It was the Jewish quarter during the medieval era under Moorish rule when many of the quarter's churches were originally synagogues. Number 8. Barrio de Triana This historic quarter of Seville has its own distinct character and identity. Across the river from the main tourist attractions of Seville, the neighborhood has the ambience of being a world apart. The Barrio de Triana is a maze of narrow cobblestone streets and alleyways leading to atmospheric squares. For centuries, the people of this neighborhood have used the clay from the banks of the Guadalquivir River to create authentic Andalusian ceramics. The boutiques of this quarter also sell beautiful decorative ceramic plates, cups, pitchers, serving pieces, and other objects for the home. After browsing the little shops, tourists will be ready for a meal, one of the neighborhood's riverfront restaurants. Many have outdoor terraces overlooking the monuments of Seville. From this quarter near the San Telmo Bridge, Magellan set out for his voyage around the world.